Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a child who presented to emergency department with abdominal distension. The patient had undergone recent revision scoliosis surgery less than a week ago. Let's look at the abdominal radiographic examination performed in the emergency department. So on the abdominal radiograph, we can see soft tissue density lesion in the upper abdomen. There was clinical concern for gastric distension, so patient underwent nasogastric tube placement. So we can see the enteric tube projecting over the region of stomach. There is still persistent soft tissue density in the upper abdominal region. Patient underwent CT scan examination for further evaluation. On the axial CT images, we can see the enteric tube in the stomach, which is partially decompressed. We can see a large cystic lesion posterior to the stomach surrounding the pancreas, which is causing mass effect on the stomach and gastric outlet. Appearances are highly concerning for pancreatic pseudocyst in the setting of recent scoliosis surgery. Patient underwent ERCP examination. A CBD stent was placed. Also cystogastrostomy tube was placed during ERCP. On these images, we can see contrast being injected into the pancreatic duct. So there is abrupt cutoff of contrast in the region of pancreatic body. There was no extension of contrast beyond this region suggestive of underlying stricture in the region of pancreatic body. No obvious extravasation of contrast was identified. No communication of duct to the pancreatic pseudocyst. On the MRCP axial T2 haste images, we can see the large pancreatic pseudocyst causing mass effect on the stomach. We can see the pancreatic duct in the region of distal body and tail, which abruptly tapers. No obvious communication between the pancreatic duct to the cyst. On the MRCP images, we can see large pancreatic pseudocyst and we can see the slightly irregular pancreatic duct in the region of distal body and tail, which abruptly tapers. No obvious communication is seen between the pancreatic duct to the cyst. So we are dealing with a patient who had undergone scoliosis surgery with pancreatic pseudocyst. In terms of incidence and risk factors of acute pancreatitis after scoliosis surgery, in this uh, research paper, they found that the incidence was close to 8% and they found that low BMI, low intraoperative mean arterial blood pressure and long segment of spinal fusion was a risk factor for acute pancreatitis. There are two hypotheses why patients can get acute pancreatitis after scoliosis surgery. One hypothesis is direct trauma to the pancreas from the pedicle screws. The other more possible etiology is pancreatic rupture during the scoliosis deformity correction. So whenever a patient who had undergone recent scoliosis surgery presents with abdominal pain, acute pancreatitis and its related complications should be suspected. In this systematic review where they had a total of 306 patients, they found that symptoms were seen in approximately 55 patients. Most common symptoms was abdominal pain followed by nausea and vomiting. And rarely they can also have abdominal distension as we saw in our patient. Pancreatic pseudocyst is a very rare complication following scoliosis surgery and it was seen only in 2% of the patients. Pancreatic pseudocyst is a rare complication in pediatric patients and this can be associated with gastric outlet obstruction. In terms of etiology, it can be due to either extrinsic or intrinsic pancreatic trauma. And in terms of management, patient can be treated conservatively or surgical therapy depending on the signs and symptoms. Our patient underwent cystogastrostomy tube placement due to symptomatic gastric outlet obstruction. There is a classification system for pancreatic pseudocyst. I think based on the ERCP and MRCP appearances, I, the patient probably had type 3 injury as there was stricture and there was no communication with the pancreatic pseudocyst. To summarize, direct or indirect pancreatic trauma can happen during scoliosis surgery. Acute pancreatitis is not an uncommon complication following scoliosis surgery, it can be seen in up to 7% of the patients. Rarely, pseudocyst can happen due to acute pancreatitis. And in terms of management, it can be either treated conservatively or through surgical or endoscopic drainage. I hope you found this case to be informative. Thanks for your attention.